Hello everyone, this is Marve from Camorbis Market Intelligence team. Today I'm going to talk about the latest developments in Asia PVC markets. This week's big news is the major Taiwanese producers price announcement for April. The producer applied a massive hike of $300 on its new offers to Asian markets on Monday. Their prices have reached new high levels as we can see here in the table. According to traders, the producer sold out its limited April allocation shortly after the announcement. In our previous analysis and news stories, we had mentioned that players in Asia were expecting a hefty hike from the producer. Still, this $300 increase might have surprised some of them since this is the largest hike that the producer has ever applied. Meanwhile, this was the 11th monthly hike from the producer. Last week, import PVC K67 spot prices stood at $1605 CIF India and $1450 CIF China, which were already the highest since Camorvis started compiling such data from 2008. What lies behind the Taiwanese producers' massive April increase is the regional and global shortage of supplies. Several producers in Northeast Asia are planning to conduct maintenance shutdowns in March and April, as we can see here in the Camorbis Production News Pro page. India's Reliance also plans to shut its Hazira unit for two weeks in March. Meanwhile, deep-sea cargoes continue to be scarce, especially with plants shut during the snow spell in the US Gulf yet to return to normal production. US material may not reach Asian markets for most of the first half of this year, according to some market estimates. Tight supply is going against increasing demands in the region. In India, PVC requirements are robust due to summer agriculture demand and from construction projects ahead of the monsoon season, which starts in June. Demand has also been increasing in China, where warmer weather after winter has ushered in more construction activity. Strong crude and firm ethylene prices are among other factors supporting the PVC upturn in Asia. Meanwhile, still high freight costs are contributing to the scene, particularly in India. Thank you for listening.